This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. We're going to take a look at a new website called TeacherMade, which allows you to take PDF worksheets and turn them into digital assignments. This video will walk you through the process of uploading your PDF content to TeacherMade, overlaying various question types, and choosing the correct answers to support auto grading, how to assign the work to students through Google Classroom, and how to view grades once students complete the work. Let's get started. To get started, go to teachermade.com. Click on Sign Up Now, and I'm going to register with my Google account. Click to add your first worksheet. Enter the title, a description if you want, and drag the file into the browser tab so that it can upload to the site. If you upload a multi-page worksheet, you can choose which pages to include in your assignment. The pages will be highlighted with a red square. To deselect, just click on the page. When you're ready, just click Create Worksheet. The worksheet will open in the editor. The toolbar at the top shows you the different options for adding overlays to your digital assignment. You can modify the existing assignment by adding text, inserting images, or erasing existing content. For example, if I wanted to remove a problem, I can click the eraser and cover up the problem so it's not visible to students. You can insert text such as directions by overlaying a text box and double clicking to access the text box. Save the changes and whatever you see in the text box here will be visible to students. If you want to see what this document looks like at any point while you're editing it. Click on View, Preview so you can see how it will appear for students. You'll notice that the text box remains and the problem that was covered over with the eraser tool is not visible to students. There are a variety of question types available. In the top toolbar you can hover over each to reveal what they are. Since this is a math worksheet I'm going to select Math and then I have the option to choose what my answer types will be. I'm going to choose number and then my cursor changes so that I can click and drag to frame out a box for students to enter their response. Once you have the box, double click and you can select how many points this question is worth and type in the correct answer so that when students enter their response it will compare against the correct answer and auto score the problem for you. Uncheck any parts of the response options that don't apply to your worksheet and save the changes. When you're ready to create a new box, you can even duplicate an existing box instead of manually adding one at a time. So to duplicate a question, click to select it. Hold down the Control and D key to duplicate the box and then move the new box over underneath the next problem, double clicking changing the answer so that it reflects the correct answer for the new problem. Once you've completed doing this for the entire worksheet, you click the X. Now I have the option to assign this worksheet to students. Click Create an Assignment and review your options for students signing in. I have students use their Google account because they'll be accessing this through Google Classroom. You can decide if you want them to see their score, and if so, how it will display. And you can decide whether or not to make toolbars available to the student when they open the assignment. When you're ready, click Create Assignment. You can share to Google Classroom or copy the assignment to your clipboard so that you can paste it in the location where you give assignments to students, including Google Classroom. Sharing to Google Classroom will automatically open it up, allow you to choose the class you want to assign to, and open up an assignment window for you to add additional instructions. When you're ready, click Assign. Let's take a look at what this will look like for the student. From a student account, I'm going to click on the assignment. It will launch the assignment and prompt me to log in with Google to begin answering the questions. Select my account. 
Now that I'm in the problems, I can answer the questions and I'm going to put in my responses. If I try to type in something that's not a number, it won't allow me. I'm going to type in some incorrect answers to show how it will score the problems. When I'm finished, either at the top or bottom of the worksheet, I can either save or say that I'm done. Turning back to the teacher view, I can look at my worksheets and find the assignment. It will show me how many students have completed it, and I can click on this to view their progress. I see the score, and if I want to look at the actual worksheet, I can click on it and view the students' answers, as well as add comments, and then when I'm done, I can return to the student. The next time the student visits the assignment and clicks on it from Google Classroom, it will prompt them to sign in with Google to access TeacherMade. They'll see their score at the top, as well as the teacher comments and their answers highlighted in green or red depending on whether they were correct or incorrect. You'll notice I can hover over and see the correct answer. Keep in mind that Google Classroom is not exactly fully integrated with TeacherMade. If I would like to move the score into the student's record in Google Classroom, I would need to do this separately through the grading area. TeacherMade supports a wide range of question types and is adding more features all the time. Thanks for watching, and remember to check us out online at teachingforward.net.